So this video is going to discuss the SN2 and SN1 mechanism and we're going to do this in steps. First we'll talk about the substrate. Uh, we'll talk about the, how the mechanism happens and then we'll talk about the leaving group and the solvent. So first of all let's talk about what substitution is. It occurs when an atom or group of atoms get re gets replaced by the nucleophile. So here is a nucleophile here. It's got a negative charge on oxygen. Here is the group that's going to be substituted. We call that the leaving group. So when this group attacks this car this carbon, um, it's going to do a substitution whereby the leaving group bromine is going to leave and it's going to be replaced by the incoming nucleophile. So you can look over here. This is the major product where now you have a new bond between the carbon here in the substrate and the car and the oxygen here from the nucleophile and then you've broken the bond between carbon and bromine which I have shown here on the left side of the arrow you have your nucleophile you have your substrate which is the uh, molecule that contains the leaving group and then on the right side of the arrow you have your products so the main components for a substitution and this will help you to categorize these reactions are number one uh, a substrate that that's the uh, reactant or the reagent that contains the leaving group. Uh, the leaving group itself is bonded to the substrate and it's important to understand that the carbon that the leaving group is bonded to that's your reactive site. Uh, and then you have your nucleophile which is here that's going to replace the leaving group. Alright so we're going to focus on two pathways and keep in mind there are many the substitution pathways um, but we're only going to focus on two of them uh, the SN1 and the SN2 pathway. So one of these, the SN2 uh, pathway follows this uh, paradigm here where the nucleophile comes in and displaces the leaving group and this all happens at once. And so over here, here's your new bond between the nucleophile and the substrate and then here's your leaving group. And then the second pathway we'll discuss uh, is what the pathway that the SN1 mechanism follows whereas the leaving group leaves first then the nucleophile comes in and then you have uh, your new bond here between the nucleophile and substrate and then here's your leaving group. So uh, one of the hardest things in organic is to pick out which mechanism is operating at a, in a particular reaction. And so here's a way to do that uh, without really having to uh, expend a lot of energy, right? Uh, this is the SN2 type pathway. It's all one. It's concerted, meaning it all happens at the same time. And so the nucleophile comes in, the leaving group leaves all at the same time. All right. So the types of substrates that can undergo uh, this pathway or that can react through this pathway are benzylic substrates, with, which is this substrate here, allylic substrates, and remember allylic is just adjacent to a double bond, uh, secondary primary as well as methyl substrates. This pathway is going to be dependent on how accessible that reactive site is. And so one of the things to remember is that the more, uh, the less accessible the reactive site is, uh, the more the mechanism is going to lean toward SM1. And we'll talk more about that later. So here uh, this is the SN1 type pathway where the leaving group leaves first. You have a carbocation intermediate and then the nucleophile comes in and attacks. So here's a new bond between the nucleophile and the substrate. The types of uh, substrates that work with this pathway are listed here where you have benzylic and allylic uh, both work. And I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, tertiary works as well as secondary. One thing to remember here is that um, whether or not a substrate goes through this pathway is going to depend on how stable the leaving group is and how stable the carbocation is after the leaving group leaves. So both of those affect the rate of this reaction. So we've talked already about this. Let's just recap it. So when there's no intermediate and the uh, mechanism is concerted, uh, as, in, as you can see here, this is coming in here and attacking R and then X is leaving and it's all happened. This is all happening at the same time. We call that pathway SN2 and then when X leaves first and then leaves R as a carbocation, then the nucleophile comes in and attacks R. That's shown here. We call that SN1. So what those letters mean 
is uh is here s n two the s is for substitution the n is for nucleophilic means meaning that a nucleophile is going to substitute for the leaving group and then two the two is bimolecular and that has to do with the rate of reaction and then the s n one mechanism s is substitution n is nucleophilic and then the one is unimolecular meaning that uh, the rate of reaction is first order and only one of the reactants and in this case it will be the substrate and not the nucleophile all right so let's see how this mechanism works let's look at the SN2 mechanism one thing to remember is that the nucleophile always comes in from the opposite side of where the leaving group is uh, there's a the transition state has an overall negative charge and then the reaction is concerted so let's look at this how this happens you see the nucleophile is attacking and as it attacks X is also leaving here's the transition state here where you have the nucleophile coming in and X leaving and both of those have a partial negative charge and then when that happens over here again you have a new bond between the nucleophile and the substrate and then X as the leaving group so let's take a look at the SN1 mechanism Here's the pathway here. Remember, X leaves first, then the nucleophile comes in and attacks the substrate. So let's look at the mechanism and how that happens. Here's the bond breaking between the substrate and the leaving group. Here's the transition state here. Now here is the nucleophile attacking the substrate, the carbocation. And then here is uh, the product where you have a new bond between the nucleophile and substrate where the nucleophile has substituted for the leaving group. So when the, the first step in the mechanism, the leaving group leaves, this is the transition state. And then the second step, when the nucleophile comes in, this is the transition state. So remember for this mechanism, the leaving group leaves first. Uh, the nucleophile attacks from either side after the leaving group departs. And we'll talk more about that later. Um, and then the transition state is overall neutral. There are actually two transition states because this is stepwise. Uh, the first step is rate determining, and then the second step is not. And the reaction is stepwise, meaning that it happens in uh, multiple steps. All right, so let's look at a couple of examples up top. Here, this is a, an example of SN2. Notice this is a methyl substrate. And here is the my nucleophile, my methoxide nucleophile. So let's just look at what happens. So the nucleophile is attacking. It's going to come in, expel bromine. And then over here, this is where the new carbon oxygen bond will be in the product. And then here's bromine, which acted as my leaving group. Now let's look at the SN1. So here is bromine leaving first. All right, you get a carbocation intermediate, and then the nucleophile is going to come in and attack that intermediate. And then when that attacks, you get a new bond between the nucleophile and the reactive site on the intermediate, giving you this product here with the new bond between carbon and oxygen. And then here is my leaving group. All right, so we're going to talk more about this again. We're going to do this in steps. We're going to talk about leaving group ability next. And then I'll give you a way to uh, categorize these reactions and quickly figure out whether or not they're SN2 or SN1. And we'll talk about some rate factors, mainly, uh, namely the solvent. And then we'll talk about elimination E2 and E1 and then rate enhancers for uh, E2 and E1. As always, if you have any questions, you can tweet, you can email, or you can drop by my office. Peace.